Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to use the multimeter as uh, as written on the plugin. Uh, it's a multimeter, which is many meter in uh, one plugin. Uh, it's uh, it's it's just some things uh, that you can uh, check a lot of information. Um, you have uh, mono left, right, max, uh, right or left, and uh, you can uh, choose here uh, and look um, what's happening. So you have um, a free mode, RMS slow, RMS fast, peak. Also, you can analyze uh, 63 band or 31 band. And um, uh, you have uh, the return rate that you can adjust and uh, you have the peak you can hold uh, peaks or reset uh, also here you have the level peak and RMS you can choose a uh, true peak true peak and RMS um, whereas the same you can hold by uh, having two seconds um, and the other function of this is the goniometer to uh, check the um, uh, stereo of uh, your mix. I think my mix is a, probably a poor mix stereo, so let's just check this out. Yeah, the stereo depth of my uh, mix here is not is not here on the left, right, and in the mid. So I have recorded this song a long time ago and I wasn't using a lot of reverb and delay and stuff like this. That's why it looks uh, so poor, but uh, correlation matter here is, uh, is fine. Also about uh, RMS. I did not work as uh, the loudness war, so and uh, we can just back to the uh, analyzer. So by the way, the, the mix is just have uh, a week here around 400, and uh, we have everything here on the bass frequency and on the. The rest of the frequency, it's, uh, it's like just a, a good average. My uh, master EQ wasn't bad. That's it for today. <clears throat> Thanks for watching and see you soon guys.